Peace, Peace, beautiful beings. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's an exciting one. It's finally a travel update that you guys have been waiting for. Last time you heard from us in this sort of video style, we were in Colorado. And now we're all the way in Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> And we're here house sitting in a beautiful home. And so this is a perfect time to catch you all up on how we got from Colorado to here. We met up with my boy Bo in Colorado. We've been friends for a very long time, basically off of social media. That's how I met the guy. And now we're like really good friends, brothers in real life. And he just so happens to be the co-owner of a premier CBD company called New Leaf. And Valeria just did an interview with him. And there's a giveaway for some free CBD that you can still enter. It's not too late. Yeah, definitely make sure to check out that video. There is still time to enter in the giveaway. And it is just a really awesome video filled with information about CBD. Other than that, Colorado has so much to offer. It's really a beautiful state with amazing people. So we hung around for a few days in the Denver and Boulder area, explored, and had a really good time. So check it out. Matt's happy. Oh, there he goes. He's happy he found another New Yorker here in Colorado. <laughs> Run! Run, buddy, catch us. It's <laughs> awkward. <laughs> We just got out of Plane of Fitness, showered, I did a face mask, and I'm all shea buttered up. I feel good. I feel real good. My baby smells good too. And I smell good too. All mm. thanks to my native Praxis shea butter. Quick commercial, link below. Favorite yeah, shea yeah, butter. Yeah. Go get it, he's awesome. We're near Boulder, Colorado, and we're about to head back towards Boulder to go see a friend. Ta-da. It's like some Palo Santo, you know, getting these vibes right. Getting these vibes right. I now dub the Earth Mama Palo Santo de Padre de Madre. <laughs> Santo Diablo. 
Saint Devil. <laughs> Uh, look, there's a New Yorker. Wait, another one? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, With the Colorado shirt on. Yo, people in Colorado really love their state. They put that Colorado emblem on everything. Bumper stickers, t-shirts, phone covers, I don't seen it all. Businesses. And if my state was one of the first early adopters of legalized cannabis, I'd be proud of my state too, and I'd, ro I'd rock it, the emblem everywhere I went. Yeah. I hope that's why people do it. Cause I don't really see anything other, other than. Oh Lord, here they go. They're gonna come for you now. You didn't set it. I didn't set it down. The Colorado. I love Colorado. <laughs> They're gonna come for you now. No, you about to say there's nothing. Boulder, Boulder, Colorado is a little bit too conservative for my blood. Like police out there is awesome, crazy stuff. Oh my gosh, for real. We we. Oh my gosh. Should we even tell the story? Probably not. Let's tell it. Long story short, we go to a park that's 24 hours and there's no signs anywhere no that says No signs anywhere. that says no par no overnight parking. So of course, we post up and we sleep there. But it didn't even look like we were sleeping in the car. Like we didn't put up the metallic reflectics. You couldn't tell it was pitch black, pitch black. and we were just knocked out in the back. Wasn't 4 a.m. 4, 4 a.m. 2 hours before we were just going to bounce anyway. Here come the cops flashlight in the van they got the the flashlights on the on the car lit up and everything yeah. lighting up the whole dang park because we're there Want to know our names addresses birthdays yeah i had to run our place and everything IDs. talk about we're being detained for trespassing we're like there's no signs anywhere that say no overnight parking and then police please if you see this video especially you guys from boulder because i told you to go watch the channel yeah <laughs> Don't lie to people, bro, because you told me that there was posted signs out on the uh, the outskirts of the park yep. of that it was a parking limit and it was no overnight parking. We went back the next day in the daylight and I searched that whole park for the signs that you told me were there. No signs. And they were not. Police are not allowed, allowed to lie to people. Why? Because you have a badge and you took an oath and you're perjuring your oath when you lie to people. I digress. So you owe us 125000 Yeah, son. That's the purge we find, son. <laughs> Dang. All right, here we go. Came to see some friends. <laughs> she needs to be shaken. Hi, Mama. Can you see me? No. <laughs> yeah. My whole dream since I was six was to start a horse sanctuary. And so I'm working on that. But I'm gonna go look at land, so hopefully we'll find something we can go up there. Yeah, I'm really excited. She had her babies in my lap. What is this? It is like gooey and like gross. And then I looked under the covers, and there are like tons of little babies. <laughs> hey, Diamond. Diamond. Oh, she uh, looks sad. Yes. <laughs> Everything. Yeah. So what do you spend your time doing? You, you um, work with the horses? I spend a lot of time with them yeah. and then um, I work as a horse trainer. Oh, so okay. I'm trying to get that going more because I've only done it by word of mouth. So now I'm actually getting like a business going. Yeah. And it's been taking a long time to write up everything on the website because there's yeah. a lot that goes into my work. But I do a, what's called synergetic horsemanship. So it's very like non-traditional horsemanships. Um, we base it, it's based off of like listening to the horses and allowing them to teach instead of us always interfering yeah. and telling them what to do and how to do things and how to move their body so it's really like a partnership with them wow. and it's it's super fun mama moonbeam you like the watermelon yeah it's good stuff they don't really have teeth <laughs> why she got a manhandle you like that because <laughs> she can only do it in oh <laughs> Give me, more, give me more. Give me more. She's pushy. The good stuff. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, get that red stuff. That's the juicy stuff. I was like, not if I'm watching. <laughs> we ran out and Heidi chased the coyotes away. Oh. I picked her up and she was like unable to hold her head up. I didn't think she was like gonna live very long because she had and no she's blood. She's alive. Yes. He has a lot of um, anger towards people. Like he's starting to bond to my brother. She wouldn't stand for three days. Like she could not get up off. And she was just like rocking and wobbling. And so it was really bad. But she's doing better now. She had her hoof shattered, that hoof right there. Oh and then um, her 
fetlock joint was um, fractured, and then she had two vertebrae fractured. She was ran through a barbed wire fence, and she had a tooth that was like coming out of her face here when we found her. And our neighbors had her, and they, she was just dumped on their property. And then I was like, well, I already signed the papers, so you can't, you can't. Then we kept her. I wow. promised that I was going to rehome her, but I never, she kept it. Oh, never, she likes it. I never rehomed her. <laughs> yeah, get that scratch. Get it. he has food he has water it's not that cold in here to see what's up with his um litter box and yeah it's it's, it's, it's not a disaster but it, it was getting there so hooray for Rumi for being an intelligent being to be able to express himself and <laughs> us for being able to listen and understand what do you think hey you what do you think <laughs> I wanted to record this for everybody out there and for Valadia because she doesn't clean the litter box right. <laughs> There's a trick to it, okay? When you're in there, <laughs> you want to scoop in one area so that way... I know can, how to do oh, it. Let what? Explain, let me explain because you don't be doing this. this. I'm going to tell you where you go wrong. I'm going to tell you where you go wrong. You want to scoop in one area and then this is what Valadia does. Valadia will take the poop and she'll bring it all the way up here and she'll start shaking the sand out so the sand can be all down here all around the box. No, I do not. You got the not. dust in the air everywhere. This is what you do. <laughs> you go down, you pick up what you got to pick up, you know what I'm saying? And you keep the scoop down there in the box. <laughs> Look at him holding his shoulder. Shake it, you shake it out down there so you don't get the dust flying everywhere. That dust is crazy. You know, I got hair. I'm, I'm paranoid, man. I think I got cat litter and dreads and all of that. So, PSA. Keep the scoops low to the box. <laughs> I will tell you no more now. Tell the people. Tell them. What do oh. you have to say? Whoa. Hey, He's be nice. Poop. Go poop, nigga. I cleaned your box. Go poop. Go, go poop, poop. You good? I gave you the head nod. You good? Meow yeah, once if you're good. Or that. So after about three days chilling in Colorado, we ended up on our next trek east towards Kansas, the land of corn and sunflowers. 
By the way, we are so sorry for this black dust speck that has been showing up in our videos. I mean, you all have seen it if you've been watching our past so several vlogs. We have tried everything to try to remove it from the camera lens. Now we did more research. We thought we got rid of it in Utah. It turns out we didn't because you can only see the dust speck when it is Highlight. like very light outside and then you can start to see it. <laughs> so we researched a few ways to get rid of it. Matt yeah. actually just finished doing one of like- The vacuum method. Yeah, the vacuum method work. that a lot of people say you can do with this sort of camera. And now the camera's actually making a little bit more noise than it usually does, <laughs> so. And the only al alternative to the vacuum method is removing the lens, vacuuming it while you hand finger drill it on uh, the lens and then Q-tipping on the inside. If anybody has any good tips on how we can remove that speck of dust, let us know in the comments below. We'd uh, like to try it as long as it's not invasive yeah please let us know the only method that we found is that drilling method and that does not sound very Conducive. safe for an expensive camera like this yeah 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 <laughs> this is fresh sunflower seed it's not ready yet whoa how do you harvest it? Just dry it? Wow, that's really a sunflower seed right there. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> the universe never ceases to provide. We just got to Kansas City, Missouri, right on the border of Kansas and Missouri. And we were we had this deal going on with a woman that we were gonna stay in her Airbnb for free in exchange for YouTube promotion. You know, that's how the influencer life works these days. And the lady just fell through last minute. Of course, the universe is so sweetly, sweetly divine. And it is for us all the time because right when this lady declines, a f well, we're not friends, I mean, we're our friends now, but some people that we don't know contacted us saying, you know, they wanna meet us, they watch all of our videos and, you know, they want to show us around Kansas City and she just hit me up and said you know I didn't even offer you guys but you could totally stay with us because everyone that lives here is out of town so the house is open we're like oh my gosh what is the what are the odds that our living arrangements here got canceled and we were just gonna leave and go to the next town but then an opportunity arises and wait until you guys see what the opportunity is because the way she made it sound yeah, boy. Yeah, boy.
Check it out, check it out, check it out. My chef's skills. <laughs> okay, that was nice. That See was that? nice. Oh yeah. Can't crust that is right there. That's that. That's our car flour. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 don't close up, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up with you, Rumi? What is you trying to show up? Oh yeah. Out. It's our last day here in this beautiful freaking place. I'm just gonna like walk around and show you how beautiful it is because you just need to know that when you have faith in the universe, when you believe that you deserve big things, you effortlessly manifest them you know we didn't have a place to stay so we were gonna leave and the universe is just like nah here you go how about you just stay in a mansion for four days in the middle of nowhere <laughs> Rumi you don't want to go you don't want to go Baba and after an awesome, amazing few days with some amazing people in like this heavenly abode of a house, we discovered that birth is leaking terribly. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you all remember when we were in Miami and we were experiencing for the first time that our roof was in terrible shape and was leaking. It was only leaking in two spots, in the back corners, like where we sleep, where our head lays, like sort of in the back corner, just a small little piece. And now we have been experiencing some heavy downpour here in Missouri. And I just wanna show you how the roof is doing. All of that is what? All of this is soaked, like dri dripping. We came into the car this morning. Well, Matt just put this towel here, but everything was filled, like overflowing with water. The floor is soaked. Back here on the side, I'm not sure if you can tell that this is all soaked. It's all wet, see that? And the bed is soaked. You can see it's soaked like all along here. Everything in here is was wet. And then of course back here are the classic ones that we've always had. This back corner here is leaking. And I don't think this one is leaking right now, but it usually does. So that's what we're dealing with right about now. A very wet van. And we're in Missouri and we were trying to see where finances were to see if we were able to drive up to Chicago, which is about seven hours north. And neither one of us have visited and we really want to go. But um, yeah, now it's kind of just looking like we need to just go south to Georgia and put the van in a garage and let it air out and clean the whole thing out. Uh, so we'll just see what happens. We will see where life takes us. I already showed you that the universe always gives us a way, so a way will be given. Yeah, man. It's, uh, it's a travesty. But it's at the pretty much the third, the last leg of the journey. If Bertha was gonna let us know that she had 
some faulty parts, this is the best time to do it. Um, and it's not mechanical, it's cosmetic. If you can, well, hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> it's just cosmetic because if the roof is going, maybe some of the under parts are going too. Let's just get her home and <laughs> say please before any of that shit starts happening. <laughs> we always manifest the positive. It's gonna yeah. be okay. Divine timing, Dave. Divine timing always. Nevertheless, we persisted on to St. Louis, Missouri, where we stopped and had some amazing vegan food at Sweet Art, which is a restaurant owned by a black female. So, so if you are in that area, you should go. It has delicious food. We wanted to try everything. Then we went to go see the Gateway Arch. Which I always thought was red. Oh I, my god. I'm positive that the Mandela effect that I never believed in before I thought was a bunch of bunk is actually a real thing. Because when we got to St. Louis, I was expecting to see a gigantic red arch and I did not. So I said, oh, they must have like recently renovated it because it looks shiny. <laughs> and I'm Googling it and apparently this thing has always been silver. So where did I get the... I, I know I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. Comment below if you remember the arch in St. Louis being red. I digress. <laughs> so yeah, we, we went to go see the arch that has always been silver. And underneath it, there's a museum basically talking about the land's history and how the arch came about. And it left us feeling a little depressed for our ancestors. Colonialism. <laughs> There's so much history out there and we were really reminded the of the effects of colonialism and where we are today and how it started over like a bunch of squabbles, you know what I'm saying? People were out there fighting over like stray cows and that became like the purchase of a few states. Yeah. Decolonize your mind. <laughs> so we quickly pieced out of St. Louis, Missouri. We wanted to visit City Museum. I know a lot of you are probably going to talk about City Museum, but unfortunately it was closed when we visited. So how unfortunate was that? Yeah, we ended up rolling on through St. Louis on to Louisville, Kentucky was our first stop in this state where we stopped at another vegan restaurant that had just opened. It was a new one. And we got some delicious food, some mac and cheese. It was called V-Grits, right? Yeah, V-Grits. Louisville was pretty much just a stopping point while we were on our way to Lexington because we were super, super blessed, aligned with infinite abundance as always. Always. To find another trusted house sitter situation. And here we are in this really huge house. I'm not sure if this is your first time watching one of our videos, you probably aren't familiar with trusted house sitters, what we've been using while we've been living in the van, which is an awesome service that you can pay a one year fee, a fee once a year. And it's basically like Airbnb for house sitting. You just look up the city that you're in or the city that you're going to be traveling to and see if anybody needs you to take care of their home while they are away. And it's basically paired up with pet sitting as well. So usually it's someone that's leaving and they need you to take care of their animal while they're gone. Right. And so while we've been traveling, we find all of these different opportunities. Most of the time it's big, beautiful family homes like this one. And so we're super blessed to have found another so one in Lexington. Everybody knows been... I'm an animal aficionado. So whenever I get to hang out with another animal. Yeah. You get so one. happy to see a dog besides this one. <laughs> But yeah, it's been so cold and rainy in this area, so it's been nice to have a vacation from our tin can Bertha van and be in a warm home with a doggy. And we're gonna be here until Wednesday or Thursday, probably. Mm -hmm. And then it's a five, five days stay. We don't know what we're going to do. Yeah, it's a dilemma right now because yeah. I want to go to Chicago. I know you want to go to Chicago. It's huge. Well, how could you do a countrywide tour and not go to Chicago? But the finances aren't really... Yeah, we have to manifest the funds to take yeah. a trip all the way up to the top of Illinois. We were also thinking about going over to Maryland where we have some friends, but that's also really out of the way when our original plan for the past several months has been to head back to our family's homes in Georgia and Florida. So... We're kind of just figuring it out. If you guys have anything to add, any suggestions, any cool places that you think we should stop along the way, because right now our tentative plan, we're like 80% sure 
that we're going to leave Lexington, Kentucky, go south to Nashville, keep going down to Chattanooga, Chattanooga. and then go to Atlanta, spend some time in Atlanta, and then keep going south to where my parents are, yeah, and then man. eventually go even further south to Jacksonville, Florida, where his where my family dad lives. is. Yeah, I'm gonna spend Christmas with my yeah. dad. It just makes sense because it's getting cold, and yeah. we wanna go south because we yeah. can't keep the van running all day yeah. to keep the heat um you know going and blowing and all of that stay yeah. warm we and it's really not cat. that winterized at all the it's van not, is not it's not so we're driving <laughs> on aluminum foil on wheels so <laughs> we are we th we're thinking going north is not the wisest decision to make. yeah yeah it and might plus be. we can go home and stack up yeah exactly that's another thing next year we're trying to make it to some international locations more details coming soon oh, yes. so it might be the best idea to just Go home because we have the privilege to do that and stack up so some money. Much. Yeah, so if you are located in Kentucky, Tennessee, the Nashville area, Chattanooga area, Atlanta area, specifically Jacksonville, Florida area, hit us up. We have had so much fun meeting people from all over yeah. while we've been traveling. And now that we're getting closer to the end, we want to meet as many people as possible. You know, if you have an awesome room where we can come stay, let us know. We'll come stay for a night. If you have a cool event that's going on or a festival or anything that you think we would enjoy, let us know. It's so hard to find things sometimes on the internet. We find the best things through word of mouth and for through real. people that contact us. So. Don't hesitate to hit us up on Instagram. Either one of our Instagrams, we both answer our direct messages or emails, stuff like that. Yeah, we would love to hear your suggestions for the next move. Oh, and if you're interested in Trusted House Sitters, I'll put a link below that will give you 20% off of the yearly membership fee. It's totally worth it. It's the best thing we've ever purchased as far as traveling goes, because you get to stay in beautiful homes and help another family out while you get a little vacation for yourself. So it's totally worth it. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe you if already you want. know, shit. <laughs> and uh, you know how that that patreon because we coming out with all the exclusive content Yes, we are gonna start filming vlogs that will only be on our patreon And also a couple of live streams are coming up that live will be streams. on the patreon Recipes we're basically rejuvenating the whole patreon page because we want to have a platform that is for our real deal supporters So if that is you join the patreon now, and we're gonna start loading some up with some juicy with some really topics stuff. Too, yeah, yeah. Juicy topic. Juicy lunch. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, we love you so much. Love you all. Thank you for being a part of our lives. Don't be acting up in the comments, son. <laughs> we love you. Peace.